We're back now with a fear growing underground. Governor Hochul just moments ago announced this ambitious five point plan to tackle the crime in the subway. New tools to help the NYPD battle subway crime, including increased bag checks, banning people convicted of violent crimes in the system for the first time, adding that new initiative, also adding more cameras and expediting that process. We are all glued to understanding more about this entire situation. The NYPD releasing new data showing transit crime is down a little bit, 15 and a half percent compared to last month. Uh, at the same time this la last year. City credits a surge of thousands of officers into the system, but the question was, even in the press conference, do we feel safe? Yeah. I mean, there have been so many recent incidents. Uh, the recent uh, shooting on a subway, um, a man kicked onto the tracks just recently in that brutal attack on, yeah. on that MTA yeah. conductor, nearly slashed to death by a stranger. Yeah, and we see it almost every day. We're on the trains, we see this, right? Somebody who appears to be mentally unstable in the system, who often refuses outreach. So we had a conversation with Mayor Adams and the NYPD Transit Chief Michael Kemper. What is the plan to help us feel safer underground? I'm like you. I use the system a lot, and Chief Kemper and I were just talking. His daughter used the system a lot. And we must make sure that people are actually safe uh, based on the stats. 2% uh, of crime in the city is, takes place in our subway system with over 4 million riders. But you have to feel safe. You're holding on to your babies, going through the subway system. You're seeing people with severe mental health illness. Just, that's creating the feeling of unsafety. That is why we are asking Albany for more authority, what's called the Kendra's Law, what we can do involuntary removals of those who can't take care of themselves and are in danger to themselves to be proactive and not reactive. That is one of the major problems we have, we're facing when it comes down to how people are feeling in our subway system. More immediately, you've surged some officers into the subway system. And, I, and Chief, I want to get your take on this in just a moment. But on the state level, we understand that Governor Hochul is making an announcement today to provide some state assistance. What do you expect that to be and how will that help with your effort? Well, she has been a partner from the days that we rolled out the subway safety plan, and she has several other initiatives she's, she wants to announce that include uh, utilizing our cameras better, particularly in the conductor's position, and we want to continue to work hand-in-hand hand with her. And I, as I, I showed this, this poster throughout the morning, we have a recidivism crisis in our city. 38 people committing over 1,100 crimes in our city. These are just 38 people that assaulted subway uh, employees. And, and Chief, how close are you to getting the person that did commit that slashing, that slash that conductor? So let me, let me talk about that, uh, that incident, because it's horrific and, and to be, you know, unacceptable, it's outrageous. Uh, I'm very, very updated on that case. Here's what I could say. A couple of rumors I want to dispel right now, that there was no working video in that station. I'm here to set that straight right now. There was. Okay, so there was working video. Detectives have that. That case is still active. Detectives are chasing leads, and that's all I'll say other than, again, uh, wishing the victim of that crime uh, all the best in a, you know, a speedy recovery. And we will find the person responsible, but keep in mind, I bet you when we catch him, he's one of the 38 uh -huh. people that commit over a thousand crimes in our city. It is imperative for us to realize it's not a crime surge we're experiencing, we're experiencing a recidivism surge. And until we stop that, our police are gonna continue catching bad guys that will go out and do bad things to good people in this city.